Name on your paper. First thing. Alright, this is a fun one today. 1A says, how many shapes were used to make this large square? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven shapes in this large square. What are the names of the three types of shapes used to make the large square? Well, what is this shape called? Okay. That's a triangle, so we have tri angle. Triangle. We also have this shape right here. What's that? That's a square. Square. And then we have piece number seven, which is a four-sided shape. We're gonna call that a parallelogram. Pair a low a gram parallelogram. That's a tricky word, huh? All right, number two. Use two of your tan gram pieces to make a square. Which two pieces did you use? draw or trace the pieces to show how you made the square. Okay, so we're gonna get out two pieces to make a square. I think I'll take these two smaller triangles, put them together. I'll turn them this way. Put them together on their longest sides and ta-da! We have a square. So now I'm just going to draw that. So here's my square. And if I go like this, then it shows that I have two triangles that made my square. Okay, number three says, use four of your tan gram pieces to make a trapezoid. Draw or trace the pieces to show the shapes you use. So we need to use four pieces to make a trapezoid. Okay, so remember a trapezoid is that shape right there, okay? So, but we have to use four pieces. So I'm going to use that triangle and that triangle. Maybe a square. So I have triangle, square, triangle, and my parallelogram. Okay, so that's kind of tricky to draw, so let's give it our best try here. I'll move it up. I've got my triangle, my square, Use that side of my square to make this triangle. And now 
my parallelogram comes out this way from the top and the bottom and then diagonal down. Tricky. Okay, if you still need time to finish, pause it, but I'm going to flip over to the other side. And then it says, use all seven tangram pieces to complete the puzzle. Now, it's really difficult to see, but there is like some dotted spotted um, like dots on here to show a cat. So I'll just show it to you and then you can do it too with me. And then we'll draw it. So right now there's two cat ears with the triangles. So put the pointy parts together like that. And then we used it used the square for the face right in between the ears there. And then what's we have two big triangles and a medium sized triangle left. So I'm going to take the medium sized triangle and I'm going to oops, put it this way. Of up by up by the square here. And then I'm going to use a big triangle to go right along next to it. And then it looks like it's sitting down. So I'm going to use this other one like this coming down along there and then the parallelogram becomes its tail. Okay, so I'm just going to do the best I can to trace these pieces. There. I know this can be a little challenging, but do the best you can. Okay, and then this one came over here. one came next to this one. Who knew we would get to draw in math today? Now this one is helping it make look at, like it's sitting down. So down at number five, it just says make a bird or a flower using all of your pieces. Um, that's just if you have some extra time after tracing the cat, if you have some extra time, use your tangram pieces to just make a bird or a flower using your pieces. Okay. Um, when you're done, put this in the done tub. If you don't get a chance to finish, put it in to be finished tray.